Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. Good evening, Milton. And good evening, William. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing good. I'm just a little bit hot because it ha it's hot here where I live. And I drank beef soup. Do you know what is beef soup? Oh, I know what is that. So beef, do you know what is beef? You don't know what is beef? No. Okay, so. <laughs> Solo los que están temprano les va a tocar conocer esta historia. So beef, it's carne de res. Okay, so beef is carne de res. So you know guys, when you hear someone say, hoy voy a cocinar bistec. Have bistec. you ever heard? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Sabe qué significa eso? Beef yes. significa beef. beef steak. Lo pronunciamos mal también, teacher. O sea, un pedazo de carne de res. Por eso se dice beef steak, porque es beef steak en English. The pronunciation, teacher, beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Beef con F. Beef. 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 Beef steak. steak, 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 beef steak. Uh -huh. The writing will be like this. Look, beef steak, beef steak, like that. And what is the meaning? Meat, meat, carne in general. Is carne in general. So beef steak is el, 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 la lonja esa de, de carne, podemos decirle, para nosotros el filete de la carne, el filete. But now, um, so I said that I drank beef soup. So what is beef soup? What do you think no. is beef soup? Beef soup. You don't know what is soup? Soup, soup, yes, sopa. So soup. beef soup? Like a sopa de steak. Sopa de qué? Sopa de, res, de res. De res. Es, es una cosa de lógica. Si beef es res, entonces sopa de res. Beef soup. So yes, I, it's hot here where I live and I was drinking the, the beef soup. So I'm a little bit like sweaty and stuff but it's okay. Okay, guys, so now <clears throat> we are almost at the end of this module. So we're just waiting for one more week. So four more classes besides this one. So we need to finish the platform. I encourage you to start um, the unit or the section five. If you can start today, that will be perfect because by this class, I'm guessing that you have completed the section, um, what is section four, right? Section four, because today was the limit, limit for section four. You, today, you, you can start today or you can start tomorrow with section five because that's gonna be the last one. And then when you finish, sec finish section five, there's a, uh, there's like, a, no, the final exam. There's the final exam, okay? So that's going to take a little bit longer than the other ones. It's going to be like the midterm. It's going to be like the midterm. So um, give me a reaction, raise your hand. Uh, I don't know, show an emoji. If you finish and you have completed section four. Okay, Marcos have completed it. Has completed it. Adriana, okay. Heidi, correct. Milton, no? Aha, so you have to finish today, Milton, because it's before the class. Okay, okay. William completed it. Okay, perfect, perfect. So remember, every Thursday you have to complete the platform. 
section one, section two. So section four this week, because next week by Thursday, uh, the people from Inglés Corporativo, they need to know that you completed all the sections, okay? So it's important for them that you have completed all the sections. Okay, now let's go here. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to ask. I have to ask you, do you have any questions about the platform that you wanna ask me? Nope, no questions, perfect. So now write here in the chat, what day is today? Remember, always send it to English Corporativo. What date is today? Okay, hmm. Heidi, hmm. remember the final letters of the number today. They are important. They are different today. Uh -huh. You realize what it was. Um, Adriana. Yes, good job, Adriana, good job. Marcos, the same. The last letters of the number, Marcos. Aha, now you see it, yes. That's the day we have for today. Okay, so good job so far. Heidi, now it is better. Marcos, good job. Adriana, good job. So I'm just waiting on Milton, Jose, and William. Milton, yes, but maybe the first letter of the month is F and not B, okay? It's F and not B. <laughs> and then the letters are, it's not T. The D is correct, but the T is not. No, William. Huh, okay, so I keep saying that you're making the same mistakes, guys. So let's try to figure why. So yes, it's February. Yes, it's February. Then the, okay, I mean, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to start with the date, right? So the day is Thursday. February, yes, but in this case, can you tell me what is the name of that number for the date? What is the name of that number? What is it? 30. 30. 30. 30. Oh, no. I mean the pronunciation. I mean. Third. Third. Thir. So it's R-D because it's third. If you have to write it in letters, it's like this. Third. Third. So the last two letters are R and D. 3rd, 2022, like that. So Thursday, February 3rd, 2022 or 2022. Okay, now let's go here with the date and you help me read it, please. Teacher, uh -huh. for the, the tomorrow is, is four and then is four, 40, 40? No, four. The letter for tomorrow. February, the day tomorrow is is uh, Friday, February 4. Mm -hmm. Only Friday, only four. February 4th. 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 Is, is D? D? T? D? No, 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 no. Four. No, no, no. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. I'm going to explain it then. Okay, so we did this a couple days ago, but we're gonna do it again, it's okay. Okay, remember, like I told you a couple days ago, this is first, this is second, this is third, 
This is fourth. This is fifth. This is sixth. And so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. So the first, the last two letters of the number you're writing on the date, those are the ones you're gonna write next to the number when you write the date. So for example, in the number one, it's not one, it's first. So at the end of that, you're gonna write ST. At the end of second, you're gonna write and D. Next to third, you're going to write RD. And from the number four to the number 19th, you're going to write TH, 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 TH. TH. Even though, guys, it doesn't matter when you get, you get to number 11th, it's like this. Okay, 11th. Porque es 11, no es décimo, no es diez, uno. It's onze, so it's 11th. When you get to this one, it's gonna be, when you're gonna this one, and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. But when you get to this one, because it's 21, but we don't say 21, it's gonna be 20. First. And then when we get to this one, it's gonna be 20. Second. Okay. Second. Only in these cases. So basically in a month, you're gonna change this one just in these times. Then you're gonna use TH, 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 TH. Okay. First, second, like that. Okay. Do you get it now, Milton? Yes, perfect. Okay. Now, can you please help me, Heidi, reading the date? Okay, teacher. Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. Thank you very much. Can you repeat with me Thursday? Thursday. Thank you. Adriana, can you read the topic, please? Yes, teacher. 4.10. Past perfect questions. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you think you're mastered it? Hoy vamos a tomar tiempo. So you're going to time yourself today. Because we practice, I think we have been practicing this because I told you, hey, you have to practice even though you're not in the class, you have to practice. Okay, so I think you have been practicing this and now we're gonna time it. Remember, you always have to focus on the pronunciation, but then now you're gonna go with speed. We're gonna see how long it takes you to say this tongue twister so if you have the time there on your on your phones so set the timer and we start with this okay so i'm gonna send you to groups let's go time your classmates and time yourself
Ahí les envié las invitaciones, guys. Revisen, por favor. Okay, Marquitos, what time? What time? Fifteen seconds. Okay. Thank you, Marquitos. Okay, it's my turn in three, two, one. She sells seashells by the seashore. The sells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells,
you, Adriana? Okay, uh, do you have a question? No. Yeah. Adriana? Okay, one, okay. two, okay. Okay. and okay. three. She mm. says, no. She sells seashells by the okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Uh, what do you say? Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. 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 Yeah. Adriana. 13. Okay. Janet? Thank you. Janet? Okay. Uh, now? Yes. Okay, let's go. She says sure by the seashore. The seashore she sells are seashore, I'm sure. So if she sells seashore by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shows. 12. Hey, good. Okay, guys, so you were practicing, right? And now I hope, esperaría que todos vuelvan ahorita como cuando regresan del gym. Que llevan el músculo bien desarrollado, bien marcadito, bien así, ¿verdad? Todo esto viene ahorita bien desarrollado aquí. Like, you have practiced a lot of pronunciation. So you're going to be like, she sells seashells by the seashore, the seashells, she sells seashells, I'm sure. So you're going to be like that. 
in some breakout rooms, we have some problems because I heard that people say she sells shells, seashells. You didn't say seashells. So we're going to see how we do it right now. Okay, so who wants to participate? Who wants to go voluntarily? Aha, uh -huh. nobody wants to go voluntarily. Okay, so Adriana is gonna go first. <laughs> okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, and three. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, they am sure she sells seashell shells. Wow, good job, Adriana. Very, very Thank good you. job, wow. I was practicing in my free time. Really? So you were practicing in your free time these days? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it shows, it shows. Se muestra, it shows, it shows. Because yeah, you, you did a really, really, really good job. Okay, now give her an applause, you guys. Just a few classmates gave her an applause. So very good job, actually. Okay, so who wants to go next? <laughs> Y ahora es como, no, teacher, ya no, ya no, ya no, hombre, así ya no juego. Nobody? José Manuel, you want to go next? I want to. Janet, excellent, Janet. Let's go. En un tengo Marcos. She saw seashore by the seashore. The seashore she saw are seashore. I'm sure. So, is if... She sells seashore by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good job, Janet. Also, good job. Very good job. Okay, guys. To be honest applause. with you, I can practice only right now. <laughs> oh, so you were practicing in this moment? Yes. So you have to practice more? Porque así no es como que solo calentamos el conocimiento un ratito, ¿verdad? You have to practice more so it can go. But you did a good job, Janet. Very good. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. So, Marcos, your turn. She sells seashore by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So, if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good job, Marcos. Just at the beginning, you said she sells shells. And is she sells seashells? She sells shells. No, she sells seashells. Uh, but she sells seashells by the seashore. So there. if she's. So no, 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 if... it's correct. No, Marcos, listen to me, listen to me. So the only problem, you did a good job just at the beginning when you were saying it, you say here, she sells shells and it's seashells. That was the only problem, but you did a good job. Okay. Okay, give Marcos an applause, you guys, and Janet an applause, and Marcos, and Adriana, and everybody. Okay, so nobody wants to go next? Nope. A la one, a la two, a la one, two, three. Gabriela wants to go. Okay, Gabriela. You have been nominated, but my Marcos. <laughs> you compromise me. Okay. Um, she said she sells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she says she sells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good job, Gabriela. That was really, really, really good. Good job. Yeah. Just remember these seashells, right? It's not she sells. It's seashells. Miniature. Yes, very good. Very good, Gabriela. Milton, okay, okay. Yeah. Now everybody wants to participate now. Okay, let's go, Milton. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The seashell she sells are seashell, I'm sure. So is she sell seashell by the seashore? Then I'm sure they sell seashore shells. I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good job, Milton. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, guys, and remember something about this. In this, your pronunciation is improving. So this is for you, okay? This is something for you. This is not something that I'm 
grading right now. It's not an evaluation. It's not something like related to specifically a topic here. This is something you need to do to practice, to improve your pronunciation, because remember, we have muscles. You know what are the muscles? Muscles, no? No. Musculos. Exactly, Heidi, thank you very much, and Adriana too. So muscles, we have muscles here. So when we do like a lot of tongue twisters and we practice a lot, the muscles in our mouth and also the tongue, si sabían que la lengua es un músculo, Yes. La entrenamos para el mal, ¿verdad? So, but you need to practice and it's gonna do a better pronunciation of the English, lang English language. Because if you only speak Spanish, then you're only gonna be able to go do really good pronunciation in Spanish. But if you practice English, then it's gonna be better for your mouth and the muscles in your mouth to speak in English, okay? And also, like I told you, try to learn songs in English. Try to practice more. It's not just this, it's in general, okay? Perfect. Now let's continue here. Yesterday, we were talking about the, um, well, all the week, basically, we have been practicing about the past perfect. Remember, past perfect. We have been practicing how to make questions, how to make statements, how to make negative statements, how we can use the past simple and the past perfect at the same time. So we have been practicing that. I hope that by now you have the topic very, very good in your mouth in your mind. What I want you to do in this moment is to make a conversation using the grammar structure of the past perfect, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're gonna work in groups and we're gonna make a conversation. Try, okay, so write this if you can. Try to make conversation and use at least, at least once this affirmative structure, negative structure and questions with answers with the past perfect, okay? I repeat, we're gonna make a conversation using the past perfect. We're gonna use the affirmative structure, negative structure, questions and answers. Yes? So if you're in computers, you can share the screen and you try to do the conversation here. For example, I share my screen in this moment and I say, okay guys, so we're gonna make the conversation. Let's go with letter A. So letter A, it's gonna say, I went to my house and my daughter, oh no, 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 se me ocurre una mejor cosa. So someone me pregunta, did you say goodbye to your mom? Imaginémonos que va de viaje. ¿Le dijiste adiós? Did you say goodbye to your mom? No, I couldn't. No pude. No, I couldn't. I walk up late and she had already left. Okay. No, I couldn't. I woke up late and she had already left. So if you can see here, I'm using the pre, the past perfect had and left, had and left. The past participle and the had as an auxiliary. So did you say goodbye to your mom? No, I couldn't. I woke up late and she had already left. Something like that, okay? So this is just an example of what you're going to do in this moment, but you're gonna make a question, affirmative, negative, and answers. Do you get it? Okay, perfect. So we're gonna work right now. And remember to share the screen so everybody can participate in the making of this conversation. 
Okay. Now, then you're going to role play it here. Janet, Janet. Janet, you, the invite is there. Hey, William, you're still having problems with your connection? Yes, it is bad because I had a problem around five years because I can't go to the Claro to resolve the problem. Ah, okay. But I was thinking about changing change schedule. I don't know if... Yeah, because it keeps kicking you out of the class. Hello. You had another schedule to the class. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Now I can hear you. I have some problems because I was wondering about. Uh, I was wondering. I'm sorry about that. If I had another schedule to change the class or just at night. Actually, I don't know if there's one at 1 p.m. or at 9 p.m. The other one is at 9 p.m. You can ask um, the Inglés Corporativo staff and they will give you the different schedules. Yes, because the problem just at night because all day I don't have some problem. Maybe at night you have more people connected to the Wi-Fi? Uh, yes, yes. Because my sister works in a call center from home. And she works at night? Yes, at night. Ah, uh, okay, so that's the problem. Yeah, 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 that's another problem. Okay, so, but right now I think you're, you're I, I don't know, it's good, the, 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 the internet's good. So I'm gonna send you to a breaker room, okay? Let's see if it doesn't kick you out. Okay, thank you.
Ay, no, no. Se me puso el internet. No, um, the next. Oh. Okay. Um, in Max, what about Max? Max? You can ask for Max. Probably be, be Max. Connection. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen the mark of selling yesterday? W Y E R. <laughs> no, Y. <laughs> y. Y. O sea, después de la W, Y, E, R. W, Y, E, R. Does it? <laughs> and then what else?
So nobody wanted to come today, maybe because you didn't finish the conversation. You were <laughs> working really hard on it. Okay, so here is the situation. One, per, one person per group, okay? One person per group is gonna send me the conversation through WhatsApp, okay? But send it to my chat. Don't send it to the group, send it to my chat, okay? Again, one person per group is gonna send me the conversation to my WhatsApp, my private one, not to the group. Okay, Marco send it here, very good. Okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> I have now one there. Okay, very good. So guys, I will see you on Monday. Remember, we need to finish section four and on Monday, we're gonna be working on section five, okay? Okay. Have a great night, guys. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.